Hello, I'm Nicolette Minster and I am with Ben Nicholson and Nick Hedger yes. from Hookup, which is premiering at the Fringe, Melbourne Fringe this year. Yes, yes. it is. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now tell me, is this the first Fringe that you guys have been involved in? It is, completely. Yeah, this yeah. is the first festival we've been, we've been involved in. Nick and I pretty recently just finished studying in Perth at the Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts. So this is kind of our first festival First show together. Adventure. It's our first show together really yeah. as well. Now, you guys won the Short and Sweet Fringe Development Award Cra for yes. Hookup. Yes. Can you tell us quickly a little bit about what that is? Sure. So Short and Sweet um, f Festival, um, they have different s sections. The section that we, we were entered in was the cabaret section. <laughs> Um, and then they have different nights and then they make finals from that and then from that there's lots of different awards and we were lucky enough to win the Fringe Development Award so we get to be in the Fringe. Um, so talking specifically about Fringe, yeah. um, how, is it, how do you feel to be kind of involved with such a huge number of genres? You mentioned that you're in the cabaret section. Yes. So how important do you think having a variety of genres is? I mean it's really cool for us to be involved in the Fringe Festival. Um, with so much going on in so many different genres because we are trying a little bit to challenge the genre that we write in anyway, which is more music theatre, but we're trying to make a more shorter, more workable musical. Um, so that kind of falls into the cabaret as well. It's, all, it's as workable and as fun as a cabaret, but it's as complex and as, and as structured like a musical. Yeah. So to be surrounded with all these other genres, it's really cool to find some influences from that as well. Yeah. Do you think cabaret is gaining popularity or...? I definitely think cabaret is gaining popularity, especially in Australia. Um, yeah. You know, you've got, you've got uh, Adelaide Fringe and you've got Adelaide, Adelaide Cabaret, cabaret Festival, Festival, which is the Melbourne biggest cabaret Fringe. festival in the world. Exactly, and you've got so many people coming over, so I definitely think cabaret is a, is a big hit. Mm. Now, do you think Melbourne Fringe is successful in developing independent artists and arts, diverse arts practices? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, th I definitely think that <laughs> uh, that Melbourne Fringe <laughs> um, it helps us. Uh, well, it, even like it, we're we're developing as as writers and producers and, mm. and artists ourselves. And I mean, Fringe festivals are great because because they're open to submission from everyone, and they facilitate so well and so easily, and in such a fun way, the putting on of a show. It really takes the pressure and the stress out of it and makes it just a fun kind of experience for everyone. Hookup is featured in the cabaret genre. Yeah. Yes. But there's a narrative and there are... Tell me more about that. Is Correct. it strict yes. cabaret? Well, Definitely I mean, not. when you look at cabaret, cabaret is usually conceived as as um, a, a group of songs bound by a central theme or character or, or story or whatever. Um, but Hook Up is, is got the songs, but it's, it's, it's driven by a book and it's got scenes that are dependent on the songs and it, it very much is m very much like a musical, yeah. but it's we're, the we're length kind of cabaret. We're kind of calling it a mini musical, but you know. But there is no so. musical genre in the fringe. Um, <coughs> Australian musicals aren't often recognised, so we're trying to kind of get it to the point where it can be, so yeah. trying to push the genre and see what we can do with it in order to bring a bit of recognition to the art form, I guess. Yeah. Support what we've got here, the homegrown work we've got here. Yeah.